Hi, everyone. So I wanted to take a minute here and talk to you about this upcoming introductory course, Blessed, which is starting October 28th. And so I really wanted to break it down because this is such an important concept, but it can be hard to comprehend only because there's a lot of like thought errors or limiting beliefs that are in the way. So what is, when I say blessed, what am I talking about? And some of you might have already heard the story, right? Years ago, I was with a client. I was in the middle of the session with her. And as I was doing energy healing with her, I heard, you know, I could feel Mother Mary's presence as often is the case, especially when I'm in a healing session. And I heard Mother Mary say, you know, you are blessed and you are a blessing. And as I heard that, I knew that, like I was receiving it and then I was also saying that silently to my client, right? We were in the middle of an energy healing session. And so I knew that it wasn't like Mother Mary was just telling me this. It was for, for everyone, for all, especially for all the helpers and healers of the world. Now that was a few years back and it's really taking me some time to really reflect on what does that mean? Why did she say that to me? You are blessed and you are a blessing. And why did it bring up so much resistance for me? Because the truth is, maybe like two years after I was attending this healing ceremony in Austin, and I was actually helping. I was like helping the facilitator. And the participants were invited. We were kind of doing a fire pit ceremony where they like wrote their intentions. It was this beautiful, beautiful ceremony. And then even though I was part of kind of like the helping whole, you know, create the space. We were also invited to then walk up to the fire and kind of toss something in the fire and I don't know, say an intention or an affirmation or a mantra. And I was really guided to say, after I shared what I was releasing to say, I am blessed and I am a blessing, but I was so nervous. I had parts that were like, oh my gosh, that sounds conceited. That sounds like arrogant or people are going to judge me or they're going to think I just have like this easy life. There's, it was revealing to me all the resistance I had, but I knew that that's what I wanted to anchor in. And so I said my thing and I said, and I am blessed and I am a blessing. And I step off away from the microphone and, you know, kept going with my day. Well, with the ceremony that I was helping facilitate along with, you know, all these other beautiful women. And I was really struck by like, wow, why was that so hard for me to say? And so in those years, I've been really contemplating that. What does it mean to be blessed because Mother Mary does not waste words, right? She, she wasn't just saying that. There was something meaningful in that message. And so I've really been asking, what does it mean? I knew that it was a mantra, right? That I could, I was being guided to, to chant and repeat and affirm I am blessed and I am a blessing. And I knew that the reason was not only because it was going to bless me, but it was actually going to allow me to bless others, to serve, to help more people, Right. And because, you know, my clients are therapists, wellness professionals, or even if they're retired or in between careers, they have this deep longing to help people. And they've already helped a lot of people. Right. So if you're watching this, I'm sure you've already helped so many people. But here we are in this next level of service, being guided to help more. But then always the resistance, the fear is like, but I don't want to be depleted. I don't want to get overwhelmed. I want to have a life that feels good, that feels like I have time for myself or my loved ones that it feels like I have boundaries. Like I'm not just taking on people's pain. Like that has been my journey to learn that. And that's what I coach my clients in. And so as I have been putting all this together, I really said, well, what does it mean to be blessed? And this is what I discovered. And, and, and it's really powerful, even though again, your intellect might dismiss it like, oh, that's not a big deal, but it is a big deal. So the state of being blessed comes when you think the thought, I am loved unconditionally, right? My soul loves me unconditionally. When you have that thought and you practice it, not just like you hear it and you're like, oh, that's so beautiful, but then you keep going, but you actually do the work of practicing it and uncovering the past hurts that might be in the way of you truly believing that. So when you practice that thought, and you practice receiving from your soul, what happens is that that creates a frequency, a fuel, a vibration that aligns you more deeply with your soul, particularly with your soul's capacity to serve. 
and then you're able to help without overwhelm and depletion. And there's a lot of little steps in between. And that's what this introductory course is going to be about, is sharing simple teachings, activations, meditation, so that you can embody that blessed state. And please know, it's not like you do it and that's it, right? Like I'm done, I figured it out. So I'm just floating around feeling blessed. Absolutely not. It's an ongoing practice. And so I was really, as I was getting ready for this, or as I've been inviting people to join, I've really thought, well, what what's the difference when you're not in a blessed state and when you are in a blessed state? And I have some notes here because I wanted to make sure um, to focus on these because I could just kind of, I get so excited about this. I could just go on and on and on, but I want this to be concise. And so when you're not experiencing this, especially for you that are helpers, right, that are here to help others, and you could also apply this to personal relationships, okay? So just listen to see if you identify any of these, if you can, if you can kind of, um, yeah, if you're just kind of like, oh my gosh, I have felt that. So when we're not in a blessed state, we have a lot of insecurity, right? A lot of insecurity that that makes you feel like, well, my gifts aren't special. I don't even know what they are. Everybody else is doing them. I'm not ready. You know, all these sentences that come from that place of insecurity. From, you know, as you've heard me speak of sharing your unique soul's medicine, when you are not in that blessed state, there is so much doubt that your soul's medicine is needed. Like I could, when I'm not in that place, I could be like, well, there's like a million teachers talking about sharing your gifts, living your purpose, connecting with your soul. What's so special about me? Like I, you know, it doesn't matter what I do. Like I could have let that thought stop me, right? So that's one insecurities. The other one is when we're not in that blessed state and it might not seem connected, but I'll I'll talk about it in the six week courses. We have trouble saying no to requests whether they're from your clients, your students, your colleagues, your loved ones, right? And because you have trouble saying no to requests, there's trouble setting boundaries and this leads to overworking and overdoing. And that's one of the greatest fears, right? Of like, wait, if if my soul, if the divine mother, if ascended masters like Mother Mary are saying, you're here to help more people. There's more people that need to know about you that need to receive your gifts. And you're like, uh, but that's just going to mean that I'm never going to have time for myself. It comes from not believing that your soul loves you unconditionally, that you can receive from your soul and that everybody else's soul loves them unconditionally. So it's not our job to rescue anyone. And again, I'm not going to go too much into the content of the course, but I just want to share this with you. It also, when we're not in a blessed state, it also leads to comparison, right? Compare and despair always looking around, always comparing yourself to others, always feeling like you have to keep improving yourself. And I love self-improvement, right? I love learning, but that can work against me because when you're in that place of always self-improving, always self-improving, you don't allow yourself to step into your expertise, your energy of expertise, Like notice if that word even triggers you, you're like, I'm not an expert, but it's like, no, you, there's expertise that you have. It doesn't mean, you know, everything. It doesn't make you arrogant or narcissistic. It's important for us to acknowledge that. But when we're constantly comparing and despairing and just kind of spinning our wheels, we're always like, okay, what's the next course? What's the next training? What else do I need to do? Because I am not enough and I just have to keep learning and I'm not an expert. And so in this six-week course, it's not about that. It's about connecting with your soul and recognizing all those pearls of wisdom, your expertise that you have already. And also when we're not in that blessed state, absolutely you experience lots of lack and limitation. And that could be in all areas or any areas. Maybe there's some where you feel a lot of abundance, but it could show up in time, feeling limited in time, feeling limited in your vitality, feeling limited in, in, in having like uplifting relationships, right? Mutually fulfilling relationships, feeling limited in finances, feeling limited in how many clients or students you have, feeling, feeling limited in your health. I mean, all of that is part of that not blessed state. But when we are in that, when we're learning to embody the blessed state, what does that look like? Well, what I wrote here, you know, that was like, right? This is like, Main thing, your self-worth is not dependent on your career or how many clients or people you help. 
I know that might seem counterintuitive, like, but wait, I thought we're joining this because we want to help more people. Absolutely. But we're meant to do it from this pure place of service, not because I want to feel good about myself and I want to know that I'm purposeful and I want to know that my gifts are worthy and all of that, right? It's like our self-worth is not attached to our, when we're in that blessed state, we realize I am loved unconditionally. Whether I help one person or zero or a million or a thousand, my soul doesn't love me more or less. I'm so loved. And that frees us, right? So there's a, a steady sense of peace as you serve. And this is something that I have been cultivating for years so that my trust, my faith, my service doesn't deviate dependent on how good my business is doing or how many people come to my classes or how many good things I've done or whatever, just that I can be this pillar of light. And again, I am not saying I'm in that place always at all, but it's a practice, right? And then also when you're in that blessed state, you are able to set boundaries. So you have ample time for self-care and you're, you're setting them from a place of love, right? And, and, and please know, we will talk about this, right? It's a process. And you also, when you're in that place of, of that blessed space is you appreciate all that you have done, all the progress, all the experiences you've had, all the so-called mistakes or failures. And you recognize, oh my gosh, all of that are my pearls of wisdom. And then because you recognize them that way, you, you're so eager to share them with others as opposed to the other thought, which I should have mentioned when we're not feeling blessed of like, I'm so far behind, what's wrong with me? Why am I still learning this? Why am I still going over this lesson? Oh my gosh, you know, that's not in that blessed state. When we're in that blessed state, we just appreciate, right? The wealth of wisdom that you have to offer. And also when we're in this place, this blessed embodiment, you're able to access your soul's creative ideas, genius solutions, efficient ways to solve a problem. That's the only way we can access that. I mean, have you ever had that experience where you're you're facing something and it could be from the most mundane, like, I don't know why this, this example came to me, but I remember when we moved to Mexico, we had like nothing. Like, I mean, there were 11 boxes we brought, but that was like nothing for a life. And when we moved into our house here, I was so excited. I was like, yeah, you're here. And then we were like, we have nothing. We don't have a fridge. We don't have a microwave if we want to get one. We don't have tables. We don't have chairs. We don't have spoons. We literally have nothing. So we had to buy, you know, so many things. And when they brought the, ref we were so excited to finally get our refrigerator. And when they brought it, none of us had considered that the refrigerator wouldn't fit through the doorway between, it's kind of hard to explain, like a hallway in our kitchen. We were like, oh my gosh. And I just remember having this panic because, I mean, we needed a refrigerator. Think about not having a refrigerator. Like you, it's very limited what you can do without a fridge. And I was like, oh, and in that moment, it felt like there's no solution. We couldn't take the door off the refrigerator. Even if we took the door off that entryway, it wasn't going to fit. There were all of these things. And I just remember, I think I chanted Green Tara's mantra, right? I was like, because, tu tare, tu tare, so you know, Green Tara is the swift liberator. But my mind was literally blank. But I do believe we have grace in those moments, particularly if we've been practicing. And we were blessed that the two guys that came to deliver, like there were these like young, really like, you know, built guys. And they were like, oh, we'll go through the living room and and lift it over this. I mean, it's, I can't even explain to you how crazy it sounded. And, but Greg, my husband, Greg and I were like, okay. And like, even then I was just praying, like, please don't let anybody get hurt. Please don't let the refrigerator get messed up. Please don't let, but I was just like, I'm not sending this refrigerator back. And in this crazy way, it got in. And then it felt so simple. It was like, oh yeah, of course that would have worked. Well, that was a whole long example to share what happens when we connect with our soul. When we're receiving every day from our soul, when we are believing, practicing the thought, my soul loves me unconditionally, things like that happen. And that's just like a refrigerator, right? But if there's something really big, right? Something really big that might feel like impossible or you don't know how this could possibly be solved. 
it will be solved through your soul's guidance. Trust me, believe me. I know that personally, and I know that from working with my clients. And then finally, when we're in that blessed state, we're able to access that infinite capacity. It doesn't mean that you're not going to work hard. I'm not suggesting that when you connect with your soul every day and think and practice thinking that thought, I am loved unconditionally by my soul. My soul loves me unconditionally. I'm going to receive from my soul every day. I'm not suggesting that because you do that, you're never going to have to work hard. Working hard is like part of our journey, but working hard is different than hustle. Hustle comes from insecurity, right? It comes from like, I'm not enough. I don't have enough. There isn't enough. I've got to work, 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 work. And that's exhausting and depleting. It leads to overdoing. It leads to overgiving. It leads to poor boundaries. That's very different from a, a place of like, oh my gosh, I, I want to get these teachings out into the world. And it is going to require some extra work for me to do. You know, I am going to have to, and this, and please don't use this against you. This might not be your example. I'm just going to use these examples, right? But it might be like, I have to go teach some classes. I have to do some lives. I have to do, send some emails. I am going to have to do some things that stretch me past my comfort zone. It is going to be a lot, but it's going to feel very different. The fuel is going to be completely different than when you're doing it from a place of hustle. And, and yes, maybe there will be moments where days where you know, in the evening when you start to wind down, you're like, wow, I did a lot this day, but it's going to feel great, right? It's going to feel like, ah, yes. And then you're going to have time to refill yourself. And that's very different than at the end of the day, feeling like resentful and bitter and tired, or maybe judging yourself or others. That's a whole different thing. So I won't read all the rest of it to you. You can read it in the link below the description. I do go over in the description the six weeks, like what we're going to cover every week, right? And every week it's going to be a teaching. And please know this isn't going to be just me talking, 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 talking for 90 minutes. No, there will be a teaching and then there will be meditations, energy healing. Like this is meant to be a six weeks of practicing what it feels like to be thinking the thought, my soul loves me unconditionally. And because my soul loves me unconditionally, there are divine solutions, genius ideas, infinite capacity, creative ideas that I haven't even accessed yet. But we know when we gather in a group of powerful women, loving, kind women that have the same intention, there's nothing we can't do. But if you want to read more about what each week entails, please read it on my website. Every week we'll also bring a different divine feminine master. There's going to be Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene, Kuan Yin, Green Tara, others. And the last week, week six, is going to be an actual ceremony where each person is going to receive an individualized channeled blessing activation. It's like a sort of graduation ceremony. All of this will be recorded. You will receive all of the replays. So please do not let that stop you if you can attend live some and some not. Um, oh gosh, there was something else I was going to say about that. Oh, why is it? It's $99 for the whole journey. Why is it that special rate? I want to be very clear because I don't want to suggest that this is a cheap program or that it's not going to be valuable. It's $99 for two reasons. One, I wanted my current clients to be able to take this if they wanted to and use it as a refresh. I right? kind of like, you know, a lot of my clients, just like myself, are going through a lot. They're going through a big stretch, right? This is the year of the dragon in Chinese astrology. So there's a lot. And I just thought, oh my gosh, how beautiful to have six weeks where we get uh, that start on my birthday month. This Wednesday's my birthday to really just kind of like be showered with blessings and review some of these teachings that they, they're working with me in private as well. So that, and I wanted it to be easy for them. Just kind of like, yep, here it is, $99, these whole six weeks, then you get the whole journey, um, for the replays. And I also wanted to offer for those of you who've been considering working with me, who want to know what it's like to work with me for a longer time, I wanted this to be something that you could do, you know, and, and, and kind of see if like, oh, maybe I want to coach with her. Maybe I want to work with her further. Right? So that's the other reason, right? And I also really feel like this might end up being kind of like a five-day training that I do that'll be much, much more concise. So 
really, this is the time to do it. If you're watching this, you're like, oh, I'll do it the next time she does it. I don't know that I'll ever do it the same way. $99 for six 90 minute journeys that are going to be so powerful and healing and transformative along with the channeled healing ceremony. I, I don't know that that'll happen again. So do not put it off if you are, if this resonates. Now, if you're like, it does, it does, it does, but I just have this burning question, email me. And if it's not enough, I will happily jump on Zoom or WhatsApp for 15 minutes and answer any questions you have. Okay. There are two bonuses that I'm super excited about. If, and one person already benefit, I'll start with bonus two. Bonus two is if you uh, refer a friend and she signs up, you will get a $15 credit for one of my upcoming classes. And one of you already did that. The other thing, many of you have joined already. If you've joined and you want to be part of a private WhatsApp group, I will add you to it. And in that thread, I've already been sending like Oracle cards, music recommendations, little videos. I did a little video today. It was like six minutes long about being with the unknown. So it's kind of like a warm up to the class. And I'll continue to do it throughout the six weeks as well. But you don't have to wait till the 28th. You can join now and already start receiving. And it's not, it's designed to not be overwhelming. So you, I think you can heart my, my comments. You can put a little heart, but come, you can't comment on it. So you don't have to feel like, oh, I've got to respond or now I got to read all these comments. It's just me sending blessings a few times a week as I'm guided. All right. So I think that is it. $99. You can pay through PayPal, Zelle or Venmo. And if you have any questions, let me know. It would be my great, great honor to, to be with you during the six weeks. And let's, let's make this powerful for us. And I, I want one last thing that I'm reminded to say. Sometimes when you see a course like this, you might be going through something so challenging that you might be like, uh, I just can't do it right now. I'm not, I'm feeling not blessed at all. And I want to share that this is precisely for those times, right? Like I'm going through some init a big initiation right now in my life. And it just struck me like a few days ago. I'm like, oh, I was talking to a friend on Saturday. And we were talking about this thing I'm going through. I'm not really ready to share it yet publicly, but and it's been, it's been very intense. You know, it's been literally being in the unknown, really leaning into my soul, my soul's love. And I was like, wow, this is so amazing. I'm, I'm literally getting ready to teach a six week course on being blessed when I'm going through this initiation that at times I have felt is the opposite of being blessed. It feels challenging. It feels vulnerable when I'm at, when I was in a really bad place, you could feel like I'm cursed or I'm just destined to suffer. I don't truly believe that, but there were moments when I felt that in these last eight weeks, seven, eight weeks that this has been unfolding. And so, but how beautiful that, oh, that even through this, and then I've done this through many things in my life, right? My divorce, leaving my career, my established career, moving countries, relocating. There's been so many that I'm getting to practice like, okay, do I really believe this? Do I really believe that my soul loves me unconditionally? Do I really believe that we can embody that state of being blessed even when we're going through really challenging things? And the answer is yes, I do. And so please know I'm not saying this just as this kind of like, you know, uh, trite thing to say, like, like I really, from the depths of my heart, mean it. So if you're going through something right now and you're wondering, will I get the benefits from this? Is this going to be too much for me? Please know that this is designed, you know, Mother Mary commissioned me to design this, to birth this, to meet you where you are at. All right, to meet you exactly where you are at. And even if maybe there's some weeks that you don't get to receive the whole teachings, you will have the replay. And even if you're just there and you're there for the meditations and the energy healing, and then you go back to the teachings, that's perfect. But of course, if you have a question about your unique situation or anything that comes up, please email me. Don't hold back. All right. I don't know how long I did that for. But I'm going to stop the recording now and I will see you soon. Bye.